Hello everybody, I am Fuzzy Face. Welcome back today to another episode of this Motorsport Manager career. We're back with our Project Audi career, our Audi team last time out. We did the impossible. We did the impossible last time out at our home Grand Prix in Munich, Germany. Vettel first, Stoffel van Dorn second. Absolutely brilliant. Vettel got an amazing start. Van Dorn made a strategy work late on. Just totally worked for him we picked up the maximum points available moved us up the order we're currently now sitting pretty in fifth place we've surpassed the Renault team the Renault team does have one of the best cars still has one of the best cars only second to the Ferrari team I don't know why they're not performing this season something about the strategy the way the team's working I don't know what it is just not performing Renault but as it is we've got our first win of the season four teams have now won races this season McLaren with Lando Norris won a race Ferrari won the first five races of the season Charles Leclerc winning four of those Nico Hulkenberg winning one Mercedes who have started to come back a little bit recently after disappointing starts of the season it's going to be close as the season goes on as Ferrari have dropped off a little bit Leclerc Hulkenberg not getting as much out of that it is a really strong Ferrari car pretty much over the Mercedes the Mercedes it is a little bit closer. Mercedes were hovering around here with the performance of their car. They've made an upgrade to the engine that McLaren, that Mercedes, not McLaren, that Mercedes engine hasn't actually gone to McLaren and Aston Martin yet. It hasn't actually filtered down. As it is, we'll just go over it again. I am changing between the races what the AI is doing with their cars, following what they're actually doing, what they're upgrading, and then just making both cars equal. Giving them a little bit of a performance boost as well over and above what they would do to their own car. Just to sort of keep it even. As you saw, we're, we've got a little bit better than an average car. We managed to finish first and second in the last race. So I might even have to think about upping the AI difficulty. It's quite high at the moment. But I just have to see how it goes. Meanwhile, on the car, we have... We've further improved the engine. We built our Spec 2 engine. We've managed to make the improvements to that over between the last race and this race we're still third overall just behind the ferrari and the renault haas have taken as you can see they're fourth now they have taken the spec 2 renault engine so we might see a little bit of a performance increase from haas a tenth overall whether they see a performance increase with the engine obviously engine is t is crucial here here at the british grand prix we have put a new suspension in the car not the massive leap in performance that I was hoping for. It gets us a little bit nearer average and we're currently working on a new rear wing which will be done in time for Belgium. Our den, the equivalent of Spa, will be done. Hopefully we get to about average there and then we're about average on all the parts and we can just have to rethink about our strategy going forward towards the end of the season of what we want to go ahead and improve in the car. Meanwhile, I'll just grab knocking a few things over as I grab my notebook it is a game of gearboxes and suspension this time around everybody has just upgraded gearboxes and suspensions other than Aston Martin, Alpha Tori, Williams are the only teams that didn't develop new parts but as it goes gearboxes for Mercedes, McLaren, Renault, Alfa Romeo and Prima have all built new gearboxes whereas new suspension systems have come in for Red Bull, Ferrari, Haas and ourselves yeah so, those that have maybe got the suspension might see a little bit of a performance increase. We might see a performance increase from Haas, who've got that new engine and a new suspension, as Haas have been languishing this season. Um, eight points so far this season. It's not too bad. Williams, who have got a pretty decent car, although they're slowly falling back. They were at six at one point. Williams are not following the upgrade tree quite as good as the other cars. Prima. But maybe we'll see an improvement for them. They should be getting. I'm going to put the, make them. A, yeah, I'm going to make it so if they've got Mercedes power, I'm going to just bump up their engine a little bit, a little bit because with them not developing their own engines, they're not actually doing it in their own upgrades. Just going to have to keep them caught up. Just so it keeps the realism there as well. If they're using Mercedes engine, they should have that. Not quite the same level of power, obviously Mercedes, the works team can use that engine in their car a little bit better than the customer teams, but just get them a little bit nearer. So maybe Williams and Aston Martin will get an engine that's more on a par with Mercedes for the next race. As, um, yeah, well, I think we'll do it. Prima do have an engine as well. Alfa Romeo is not quite there. They haven't actually gone ahead and taken the spec 2 ferrari engine as well so we might upgrade them for the next race but as it is 
we've done quite a bit of talking in the in the beforehand here going over a, quite a few changes meanwhile just one more thing to go through if we head to drivers it is just on sebastian vettel um he does have he has quite a lot of stats here what does he have um he has lost a stat boost he did have a hall of fame driver training here which was giving him a plus one across the board meanwhile he has actually gone rogue at the moment which lasts for six weeks quite a few races into the future maybe three races just give him the renew passion boost which stoffel van dorn has got as well at the moment got last for 18 weeks and the initial 22 of those weeks have gone between the last race and this week but it does mean he does have the gone rogue driver trait as well which means i can't actually give him any orders throughout the race so hopefully he's going to be able to make the tires last if we want to do a one stop and it's a little bit tight it shouldn't be tight at the british grand prix but we're not going to be able to control sebastian vettel at all which means we're going to be pretty much stuck with controlling van dorn over the next couple of races and just see how sebastian vettel does obviously we don't actually need the gun road because we do have the automatic mod on but i don't have the choice of turning it off not that I've been using it much, it's usually only if one of the drivers goes right back down the order that we do actually switch that on. But we're jumping into practice now. We do have the British Grand Prix coming up. Practice will be skipped over and we will be back in just a turn of the wheel for qualifying in a second. So we're back for qualifying. We have unexpected rain. It did rain a little bit in practice. It was supposed to be sunny for qualifying, but as it looks, we've got rain in the early going through the midpoint and then at the end hopefully dry for the end so the ai does get out on dry tires for the end we don't want rain i wish we could just turn off rain totally for qualifying because the ai doesn't know how to handle rain at all it's just one of the things of the game as it is you can see we were actually pretty quick during practice a lot of the cars you know it's just a mixed match of people running different strategies vettel was one tenth off the quickest time um, about seven tenths quicker than Stoffel Van Dorn as well. We're pretty much there with the setup. I'm not going to change anything before we enter part Verme for qualifying. We're going to take the super sauce because I think if we get out straight away, we're going to hit that dry patch as well. So hopefully we do hit the dry patch. We'll just maybe leave it a second with Vettel, but we'll get out of the pits as well. On the supers, I'm guessing the AI, yeah, the AI is going to come out. This rain's going to go. We're possibly going to hit that dry patch, and you see the AI just comes out on the intermediate. When there is no need to be on the intermediate really or is the rain not going to stop yeah the rain's sort of gonna yeah that is a level where the dry tires should start working again so there the rain stopped just as vettel starts his lap he's quickest over the first sector here quicker over the second sector as well and because we're one of the only cars on dry tires vettel goes quickest van Dorn goes second quickest and we see all these cars on the inters i hope this rain is going to stay away although the rain is going to be there during the middle part of the race which means a lot of the middle order cars although i don't think they're going to get well they're possibly going to come back out onto the track as well it is quite a long track here at guildford which is thankful so the middle order cars might come out on dry tires hopefully so we do get a decent grid here and not one that's messed up because of all the rain although they are usually yeah and we're getting some out no we still got some out on intermediates even though it's dry to the end of the session that's just what i was on about with the ai there's no way around that nothing that can change the way they run during qualifying as it is it is about a one and a half minute lap we're going to come out possibly with about two and a half minutes to go no more rain here is anyone actually going quicker we're going to see a few of these cars go up the order that are on the dry tire vips is the first one out on track at the moment as we see should we just switch to yuri vips here in this alfa tori the honda powered alfa tori and he goes into fourth obviously won't remain there i don't think we're going to remain in first and second because here we go mercedes and co are coming out so we're going to get out of the pits now hopefully i haven't left this too late as we were concentrating on vips i think we're going to yeah we should be able to get round hopefully in time to put in our second lap as we see a lot of cars going quicker we ran on that first lap on a little bit of a wet track so a lot of cars still going quicker giovinazzi in the alfa romeo is currently first hopefully vettel yeah vettel was out in time we're going to get around with half a minute to spare before the session closes down. And here we go with our final flying lap. We've got the Mercedes going quicker at the moment of Max Verstappen. It looks like Max could park this on pole. Hamilton is there at the moment. 
Verstappen, Vettel is quicker at the moment than his last lap. Van Dorn is as well. We're currently 14th and 17th. I don't think we're going to sit there. And now we see Max goes quickest. Leclerc puts his car into second. Van Dorn is going to come across the line first. Only gets up to 13th. And Vettel gets up into 10th place. So not too bad. Pretty much where we'd be expecting, obviously. Not the highs of the last race. I don't think we're going to go on to win another race here. But Max Verstappen puts his car on to pole position here for the British Grand Prix. Puts that silver arrow there. And we'll just skip through quickly here. We just have to... We're going to go medium because that is the tyre that we're going to spend the most on. It doesn't look like there's going to be rain for the race. Obviously, we never know what's going to happen at the end. The temperature is quite low. So the medium might not be a tyre to work on. And since we're not in control of Verstappen, but since he's in the top 10, we are going to have to start on the super soft. The game doesn't push that on you, but we just follow real life rules as much as we can. Obviously, the AI will put themselves on the quickest tyre as well, being in the top 10. That would be 43, so it should be a one stop if we can. Well, we can't actually help it, but if Vettel himself can help it. Whereas Van Dorn is not a smooth 25 to 14. He's not going to get there, so we're going to start on the mediums with Van Dorn and then we know what sort of what we can go for at the end whether we do have the with it being quite cold we're gonna to have to push a little bit more so it is possibly gonna to have to be medium and soft for Van Dorn to do a one stop I don't think a two stop would work here but with it being quite cool it could work it could work we might go medium super soft to super soft Depending. Right, we'll just have to see how things go here. Meanwhile, yeah, we can't even select what we're doing with Sebastian Vettel at the start here. So here we go with the grid order for the 2021 British Grand Prix. Max Verstappen is on pole position in the Silver Arrow, followed by Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari. Bit of an improved performance. And for Romeo, Giovinazzi stayed up there in fourth place. Louis Hamilton is third. Danny Rick in the Renault is fifth. Albon in the Red Bull sixth. Ocon in the Renault is 7th, so not too bad from Renault here. Hulkenberg in the Ferrari is 8th. Alonso being outperformed at the moment by Alexander Albon. Ninth place for Fernando Alonso. We are 10th in our Aldi with Vettel and Latifi up there. But he's starting on, Latifi's starting on a used super soft. They not expect themselves to get up so high. A used super soft for Nicholas Latifi. Lance Stroll starts on the mediums 12th in the Aston Martin. Mick Schumacher 13th in the Prima. And then we're 14th with Van Dorn in our Audi. Russell is the... Is that the first? No. Lance Stroll's a bit further up. Russell is 15th. Magnussen, who was qualifying in the early part of the season, up in, he got second at one point, falling down the grid. He's 16th now in that Williams Valtteri Bottas, 17th in the second Alpha. Sainz in the McLaren, 18th. And Norris, 19th in the McLaren. McLaren fallen way off. They do have a win this season with Lando Norris, but the tracks at the moment, maybe not suiting their cars. Gasly, 20th in the Alpha Tori. Perez, 21st in the Haas. Vips is 22nd. And then right at the back of the grid. This... Uh, the new, the new Renault power in that house with that Spectre engine didn't do anything for them here at the British Grand Prix. 23rd for Newgarden, 21st for Perez. Maybe they're going to perform a little bit better in the race. And Schwarzman rounds out the grid in that Prima. So should we look at Vettel? Since he's higher up the grid, we're not actually controlling him at all here. What is he going to do? He's off to a great start. Van Dorn up here is off to a pretty slow start. So we're just going to bump him up a little bit. We do have that luxury since it is pretty cold here. Only 13 degrees. Uh, if I look out of my window, yes, it's overcast and cloudy here actually in Britain as well. Um, Vettel currently behind the two red bulls. Oh, that is Bottas. Bottas has made an amazing start there. He's ninth place for Valtteri Bottas. Eighth place gets past the red bulls. Here is he going to make it stick? Vettel can't make it stick. Meanwhile, Van Dorn has fallen all the way to the back here. Absolutely disastrous start for Van Dorn. Currently battling away with Schwarzman here. Just it's not what we wanted on this medium tie. We didn't want to be stuck having to make overtakes. We wanted to have a nice even race in the middle of the packing deal going. Valtteri Bottas sits the quickest lap as we're going between the two horses of Perez and Newgarden. We managed to get the move on Newgarden. Can Van Dorn get around the outside? Meanwhile, Vettel is in eighth place. Lance Stroll made a really good start in the Aston Martin away as well. Currently battling away with Alonso, who's managed to break out from there. Albon's fallen to 11th. Meanwhile, two Mercedes. Well, Verstappen's got away. Hamilton 
I was going to say has got away, but he's under pressure from the two Renaults as Daniel Ricciardo finally goes past him. Ocon is in fourth. Renault having a good race, but obviously, as we've seen in the past, they just don't know what to do with their strategy. Leclerc is bringing up fifth place at the moment, followed by Alonso, and then Vettel is now up into seventh, having got past Lance Stroll. The Aston Martin currently on the first spec Mercedes engine. The pace not there as Stroll and Russell battle over eighth and ninth position here with Bottas bringing up the rear on the points board at the moment in 10th place and then we've got Albon. Meanwhile Van Dorn, he's got himself back up into 21st. He's got ahead of one of the McLarens battling away with Lando Norris at the moment. We're using a hell of a lot of fuel here. We're going to just sort of cool down a little bit and then try and get a move made on Gasly a little bit harder because he's on a softer compound tyre what is Norris doing at the moment he's currently backing up on those tyres as is Gasly so whilst we come up to the main straight here if we can close this gap to this Alpha Tauri see if we can get past the Honda Power here we do have a better bet do we have a better engine yes we do because it's only the Ferrari and the Renault we do actually have a better Renault a better engine than the Honda engine at the moment so if we can just do that and Vettel is pushing all out here the computer just pushing here with Vettel pretty running pretty hot here as well with the tyres I'm hoping we're going to be able to do the one stop if the AI is controlling Vettel I'm hoping we're going to be able to do the one stop meanwhile we're running pretty hot as well I think we might go two stops with Van Dorn since we're out of the points we're just going to have to sort of push a little bit see what we can get out of this car maybe go two stops maybe a one stop would move us back up the order though it's just a matter of waiting and seeing at the moment. Meanwhile, we'll just switch back to Vettel for a bit. He's currently following Fernando Alonso. At the moment, hanging on to the back of the top four cars. And actually ahead of one of the top four cars of Alexander Albon. It's just sort of worked his way out. Who is the other one? It's Hunkenberg. Hunkenberg not performing very well. He has got a race win to his name this season. But he's not been performing too well this season. I think he's been out of the points quite a few times. If we look at the driver's standings, where he's hung, he's actually fourth though, but 71 points, a long way behind the two Mercedes drivers of Verstappen and Hamilton. Obviously, he's beating the Red Bulls and the Renault, but that Ferrari car is the best in the game, and Hunkerberg not getting much out of it. So maybe Ferrari might be starting to think about promoting a driver, a new driver in that car. If you're watching this maybe leave a comment of who you would like to see in that second Ferrari seat. Should Hunkenberg stay in that seat? He's not performing the best. I mean there's not much movement outside of the top drivers. Maybe Hamilton might be fancying a move away from Mercedes since he's would he want to move up but Mercedes are getting back the power in their car this season. Would he make that move to Ferrari? He has said in the past that he he has always sort of wanted to drive for Ferrari. Would he move to Ferrari? Who else have we got? Danny Rick in that underperforming Renault as well. He's under contract for one year with Renault. Would he want to move? Obviously, as we see, he is currently ahead. This Ferrari is a little bit slower at the moment. Ferrari may be on the downward trend though. I mean, there is Mick Schumacher. It's too young though for Ferrari, isn't it? It's too young. To have two drivers like that in Ferrari, two younger drivers, not the usual path that Ferrari would follow. Valtteri Bottas has been performing pretty well in this Alfa Romeo, obviously a Ferrari-powered team. Could Bottas make the move? Maybe a little bit too safe for, for, for Ferrari, or maybe not too safe. An elder statesman to go alongside Bottas, obviously that's probably what they were hoping for. From Nico Hulkenberg hasn't worked out for them at the moment, meanwhile Van Dorn is currently 20th place not working out for him at all um let's just have a quick look at what we're going to do with this pit strategy 16 laps off this tire he's he is going to get pretty far off this tire he might be able to get to the point where the super soft could have come into play i'm thinking we're going to stick with a one stop with stoffel van dorn we're going to stick with a one stop with him whether it's a super soft whether it's a soft we don't know Meanwhile, can Vettel get far enough on this super soft with the AI controlling him? Yeah, he's complaining about staring at the back of um, Sergio Perez in that house. He's under pressure at the moment. We'll just turn things up a bit because the tyre's cooled down. Obviously, we have used a hell of a lot of fuel. We're going to have to go ahead and recover that pretty, pretty aggressively towards the end of the race. Although, 
possibly around lap 15 to 25 once we see a, a few of the top order cars coming in for their first pit stops we're possibly going to turn down around that point and try get a little bit of early recovery in ahead of us making a pit stop and then once we once we've recovered a bit we should be at a push towards the end of the race, race. meanwhile Vettel currently still in seventh place here is sitting with a nice little gap two seconds either side of him between the two red bone cars we can't really do much with him other than watch for when he wants to make a pit stop we've just got to be careful that we don't forget about him since he's controlling himself meanwhile van dorn has moved himself up into 18th place our audi car he was stuck in 20th for a hell of a long time as we cool things down um, that is Yuri Vips in that Honda powered Alpha Tori in front of us. Can we get him down the straight? It looks like Van Dorn can do that. He's now behind the Ferrari powered Alfa Romeo. Can we get that as well before these tyres overheat is the question. And yes, we can. So let's just try cool down a little bit here. Um, we've used one and a half laps over the fuel here. We might have to use a bit more just to make sure we can consolidate this position. Just keep pushing for a little bit longer, try and consolidate. Meanwhile, Vettel, he's just gone around. We're going to have to, he's going to have to come into the pits this time around. 27 laps. Oh, it's going to be touch and go to whether the AI can do that, but we're going to have to do it because I'm guessing. Got a little bit of risk with the pit stops. I'm going to go safe. It's going to add seven tenths on seven tenths on we are one of the quickest pit stops 2.2 seconds is possibly about the average we'll go safe just to make sure i'm with van Dorn now he's sort of consolidated that position a little bit of the cars pushing behind jim and actually actually pushing behind him but we'll just have to keep an eye on van Dorn here meanwhile vettel i think he's going to get around just before his tires fall off the cliff it should be 20 it could be 15 for the supers should be 15 for the super soft it's the ultras that would drop off at 20 percent so vettel is going to get around here possibly another lap in him i don't think there is a yeah i don't think we don't want to risk he's going to be the first car to make a pit stop um about 20 seconds i think we're going to come back out in can we get out into this gap are we going to get out in the gap yes we do ahead of the williams out into a nice gap there for vettel obviously it's only about two seconds up the road to Carlos Sainz but a nice little gap there that actually worked out pretty wonderfully there <laughs> to get out into the gap meanwhile Van Dorn is currently stuck behind the Williams of Kevin Magnussen here and we're about to see the front runners as well start to make their pit stops Ricardo's gone through that tyre 30% he's off a cliff is Ricardo Renault once again just into the pit so about 3% over he's done possibly a few corners whilst being there where is this Renault double stacking in the pits Renault going for a double stack and Ricardo gets out into fifth place. So Ricardo with a little bit of clear air here. Can Ricardo make a charge? He was in third before the pit stops, I think, was he? And Van Dorn. Van Dorn is 16th. That is Albon that's come out of the pits. Slowing us down a little bit. We're just in recovery mode with a few at the moment. Just trying to hang on with Stoffel Van Dorn, he's under pressure a little bit from Vips, Vips keeping up with him in that Alfa Tauri and Van Dorn not managing to do much to get past Magnussen, Magnussen defending from Albon, Albon's going to the end of the race, what have we seen, we can, uh, Renault going for a two stop again with both their cars I think it's just maybe a setting with Renault, it's just really aggressive going for a two stop is it going to work though to keep Renault on the podium Meanwhile, Vettel is 11th now. He get, manages to get past Mick Schumacher. That is Nico Hulkenberg. Sort of running the points at the moment, but obviously everything's a little bit of out of order. But Hulkenberg is about to come into the pits. Vettel going to get past him before he gets into the pit. Has Hulkenberg gone off a cliff there? I think he did because we were getting past him pretty easily there. And Van Dorn has now cooled these tyres down. Should we try and... We're stuck behind Kevin Magnus, and obviously we know we can jump them in the pits. With, although Williams do have one of the stronger pit crews, this medium can run to 5% before it falls off the cliff. And yeah, we're just going to push a little bit now. We've got the tyres in the optimum range here. Hopefully we can get past Vettel. He's back up into the points as Hamilton 
comes into the pits. Verstappen's gone for the soft. Hamilton looks like he's running to the end of the race. And that is Ricardo going through there. So he's managed to get the undercut working, but obviously he does have to pit again. Hamilton will be running to the end here. So it looks like Hamilton is in prime position at the moment. He's the one running to the end. Verstappen may be pitting again. I don't think he's going to get that soft to the end there. Here's a chance that they could get a soft to the end, as we see with Vettel. It can run for 22 laps. It just depends how aggressive they're going to be with those tyres. Meanwhile, we're still stuck here. Maybe if we're going to have to try and get past this Williams, aren't we? See if we can get him over the next half a lap. Get, keep him close. Come on, that's it, Van Dorn. Move yourself up. Still under pressure from Kevin Magnussen. As we know, he's fighting tooth and nail as Kevin Magnussen to keep that place. But Van Dorn goes through now. And we've still a lap over target here. Vettel over target as well, being really aggressive himself. Obviously, we're not controlling him at the moment. He does have that gone rogue stat. Bottas hasn't pitted. Is it about 20 seconds for a pit stop here? So Vettel is possibly currently running. Well, he is running six overall at the moment. Managed to get through Alon past Alonso in the pits. Through all the pit stops working out, Alonso looks like he may be going for a two stop as well, depending on how they can go on those tyres. Stroll running really well, although realistically he's possibly running about here. He's currently in fourth. If it's a 20 second pit stop, it is quite a short pit stop. It is on a straight. Would it cost you 20 seconds? Does it cost you 15? I don't know. I didn't actually pay attention to how much it was going to cost us over the first part of the lap and Van Dorn is still ahead of this Williams here. It is Carlos Sainz in front. He's almost two seconds. Are we going quicker than Sainz at the moment? No, we look to be closing gap there, but we're quite a bit off him over the last lap. Although Sainz, on a used medium, is putting Alexander Albon under a lot of pressure on fresher rubber. Carlos Sainz all over the back end there. I'm guessing Albon's just being held up by Mick Schumacher at the moment, who is also on used, used uh, medium tyres. Whew. Where are we going to get? I know Vettel's going to get in the points. I don't think we're going to be able to push Van Dorn up into the points. Yes, I know the tyre wear is not helping your lap times at the moment. Stoffel, we'll just try to run as long as we can to make sure we've got some rubber to finish this Grand Prix. And we want to be able to push on the softs a little bit. And it's falling off a little bit, but we're not off a cliff at the moment. Maybe if we push for a, see what we can get, maybe just do this one more lap. And we're going to get into the pits. We might have to be a little bit riskier with the balance pit stop. That would be 1.9. That would be 2.8. It's only 0.3. Three tenths of a second. We'll go safe just to make sure that it, it goes that way. And we're going to get in. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. That was Albon running wide. Albon way wide. Loses places. So we're just going to maybe try and get the jump on Carlos Sainz here. Get into the pits. There is Sainz and Schumacher in front of us. If we can get into the pits this lap, have a really good outlap, we might be able to get a jump with an undercut here on Sainz and Schumacher. And then Bottas would be the target there, who's got quite a long way to run here. So if we can get in, we do have room to push on this soft air. At the moment, we still have a little bit of room with fuel. Van Dorn has a nice gap in front. We're currently behind Giovinazzi, who started this race in fourth place. So considering we dropped all the way to the back, that is not too bad of a result here, if we can sort of catch up. Um, we currently we get a good idea of where the pit stop would put us. It seems to be about 17, 18 seconds for a pit stop. So let's just see what we can do here. Sainz possibly will be pitting this lap. How are we going to be able to get past Sainz if we push here with this soft tight? And then I'm guessing Schumacher would be the lap after. Or would Schumacher be this lap as well? No, Schumacher is going around again. Sainz is in the pits. He's going for a super soft. Oh, we've lost the camera. Sainz is going for a super soft. It might just seem through to the end of the race. But we have got that undercut. We do have the undercut, the most important thing. Obviously, Sainz is on a lot of... No, Sainz is not running, is he? It's 20, 15? It's a 15 laps to go. 
Yeah, we wouldn't have made that super soft, but Saints, I'm not sure the McLaren can make that last either. They're going to be a little bit hard pressed, obviously. Let's just click back in here, yes. We do have a lot of room to push still with this. I'm guessing that Schumacher is going to go on to a super soft as well. Meanwhile, we're sort of getting caught up pretty close to Valtteri Bottas as well. Um, is Schumacher going round again? It does, so we've got the undercut working. Pretty handedly as well. We're just going to make sure we don't run too hot. We'll just try cool down for a little bit. I think we've got the undercut working on Mick Schumacher here. A lot of cars still to pit. Well, two cars will push Vettel up into seventh place here if we can sort of keep that. We've not looked at Vettel in a while. He is about second back from Valtteri Bottas. Obviously, Bottas is coming to the pits this lap. So should we push? Should we push? Should we push? 51 to the 32. It could be close if we go for it here. Obviously, we still do have quite a lot of recovery to do. With the fuel, the tyres are now overheated. We're going to have to go for cool. Go for cool. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Yep. Yeah. Is that Bottas behind us? That is Bottas behind us. Obviously, he has now gone for a super soft. He will be a little bit quicker than us. As we're just going to make sure we can stay ahead of him here. He's going to be pushing on those tyres. Oh, he's out of fuel though. He's running low mode on the fuel. And Schumacher has made his pit stop. He's now almost four, five seconds behind. Well, it's four seconds behind, pretty much. So the undercut work there, absolutely to perfection. But in a few laps, we're going to have to recover the fuel pretty aggressively. Possibly going to have to just run in medium mode for the last 10 laps of this race. Make sure we can hold this position over Valtteri Bottas. That super soft has about four laps in it where it works at its optimal range, its quickest times. Not that we're fighting over points, just fighting over pride here with an Alfa Romeo with Stoffel van Dorn. Vettel is going to score us points this race, and there goes Bottas, that's super soft, we just can't hold off, or can we? Van Dorn goes wide, no, there we go, we're just going to switch back down, I don't think we're going to get back anywhere close to the Alfa over these next few laps, we'll make our recovering on them a little bit further down the road, meanwhile we'll just switch to Sebastian Vettel and speed up for a little bit here, he's currently running in 7th place, meanwhile, actually let's just watch Danny Rick at the moment. We'll watch Danny Ricardo because he's going to have to pit again. 18 seconds. He would get out. It won't be behind his teammate. He's going to be coming out behind Hamilton. Ocon does have to pit as well. So the Renaults are going to be here. Possibly out in front of Charles Leclerc. Hopefully Ricardo is going to pit this lap. Don't run another lap, Danny Rick. Don't lose time yet. And we see Danny Ricardo is now coming into the pits. Where is he going to come out? Is he going to come out ahead of Charles Leclerc here? He's into the pits. He's in a while. He's in a while. What is going on? What's going on? Is that a mistake? No. Was that a... I think he had something wrong with his car there, Daniel Ricciardo. Renault, once again, have gone from podiums to maybe not being anywhere near. So we're currently now in 5th place with Sebastian Vettel. The Renaults seemingly throwing away another race here. Meanwhile, Van Dorn was still recovering. He has managed to... That is Schumacher pressurising him there. Two Alphas in front of him. How close are we to point? Six seconds off. No, and that is a prim. And that is Mick going through on those super softs. And Lando Norris has crashed a yellow flag. Not a safety car. We haven't actually had any safety cars over the first nine races, have we? Been no safety cars throwing up issues. We've not had a lot of crashes. And that is... Who's that going through? That's Carlos Sainz as well on those super softs. Just losing positions now with Van Dorn. All these cars around that managed to get onto the super soft are sort of pushing away. Um, have we got... We don't really have... We don't have really much. We don't have that much to go with the... We do have a little bit of room. Maybe get pushing again for a little bit. And that is Charles Leclerc coming into the pits as well for our fresh super softs. Verstappen has made a pit stop as well. So as we thought, Hamilton has gone into the lead here. And he will be chased down over these last few laps. That super soft, will it have enough in it to get about two seconds per lap? A second per lap would do. 
to get Verstappen somewhere close towards the end of this race. Alonso seemingly going to the end of the race here, so Vettel is now currently running in fourth place, five seconds over Danny Rick, who is on the quick attack. He's gone for a soft, not a super soft, to finish the race. Whereas Charles Leclerc is seventh. Has Leclerc done soft? No, he's done super soft, soft and super soft. It's nice to see. Sometimes the AI likes to, as it has done with Gasly, as we can see, running in 18th place has gone soft, soft for Gasly. A little bit of a cheat to use two of the same compound. I don't think there's anyone else that. Yeah, Robert Schwartzman's done that in the Prima. Don't think any of the guys in the top order have done that. Yep. It's nice to see the AI not deciding to cheat. They sometimes have done over previous games where they've got medium, medium. Yeah. Um, is this medium going to get through to the end of the race? Six laps. Oh, no, come on. Don't push your tyre. What are you doing? Get Sit pretty in fourth place, Vettel. Don't push. Don't push. Just hold off. Stappen goes quickest on that super soft. He is almost two seconds quicker, so he's going to be coming back at his teammate towards the end of this race. Van Dorn currently putting a lot of cars under pressure there. We're, just, we're not fighting over anything with Van Dorn, so we might as well just watch Verstappen over these next few laps. 3.1 seconds behind his teammate at the moment. 2.9, 2.8. He's getting closer, although look at that, he's slowing down. 2.6. Hamilton does have quite a bit of tyre left. 34%, uh, that's more than enough to see him through to the end of the race. 2.4 now. Leclerc not coming back at us. Vettel. Oh, he better be able to get this to the end of the race. Should just be sat in conserve at the moment, although the tyre is pretty cool. Possibly the reason why the AI is pushing him, but Verstappen now 1.9 seconds behind his teammate. Is he going to be able to make it? Should we follow in chase cam for a little bit? Actually, no. We're following Chase Cam once he gets a little bit closer. It's getting closer. Getting close. Not many laps to go. 1.6 seconds. Have they started evening out? Only four attempts. Quicker. Sergio Perez has retired in the Haas. Okay. And yeah, Vettel is in conserve mode now. Um, Van Dorn is currently battling away. The fuel has recovered. He's 14th. There's not much we can do for him, but... Four for Vessel. I don't know if he's going to be able to get those tyres to the end of the race. And Verstappen is slowing down now. Yep, it looks like Verstappen's run out of... Possibly running too quick. Although he's, got, he's going again. Verstappen is going again. Two laps in this, in this race remain. Verstappen's going for it once again. Has he got the pace? 1.5, 1.4. I don't think he's got the pace in that car to get anywhere near. Vettel, meanwhile, these tyres totally cooled off. Looks like he's going to be able to get to the end of the race, so to get a nice fourth position for us. More points on the board, another great points haul if we can get that done. Obviously, Van Dorn a little bit. It is where he started on the grid, I think. Did he start 14th? Yes, it was, I think. He started 14th. So, it's not too bad of a result. It's sort of where we could consider ourselves to be overall. It's just that Vettel is getting a lot out of this car as we move on to the final lap. It doesn't look like Verstappen is going to get near his teammate. He's conserving at the moment. He's, that last lap possibly took him to the edge of being too hot. Is he going to have another go over the last half of a lap? He's almost two seconds off the pace, now 1.6. It looks like Hamilton's going to come away from this race with the win. Mercedes going for a two-stop split in their strategy across both cars. Worked out for Hamilton here. So Hamilton comes across in first place. We see Verstappen following on in second. And then Alonso quite a bit further down the road in third place. Vettel has been done by Charles Leclerc here at the death on that super soft. Vettel looks like he's not, he shouldn't have gone off the cliff yet. You know, it's just Leclerc's quick on that super soft. But we do get a fifth place. That is a good finish for us ahead of the Renault. That went for a two-stop. Would have been a podium if they went for a one. Albon is seventh in the Red Bull. Ocon is eighth. And then two. Aston Martins in the points. Russell and Stroll picking up points here. Great race for them. Then we've got Bottas, Giovinazzi, Schumacher in the Prima. Van Dorn for us is 14th. Then we've got Schwarzman, the two. No, going by the colours. It is Newgarden in the house. Magnussen in the Williams. Hulkenberg 18th in the Ferrari. That is not a good race for Nico Hulkenberg there at all. Not a good race. 
not a good race at all. So if we just go on for the stands, we pick up 10 points with Sebastian Vettel. I'm guessing Mercedes could have surpassed Ferrari here. Obviously, the majority of the points are coming from Charles Leclerc. Hulkenberg has now been overtaken by Alonso. Hulkenberg just off the pace here. Off the pit and there we see Mercedes. It was looking like this was going to be a year of domination for Ferrari. Looked like the prancing horses were going to have a really good season, but Mercedes just coming back really strong. Um, it was another 1-2 for them in this race. And we see a massive gap over the cars behind, so Mercedes pulling it back now as we move into the second half of the season. And we see where now above McLaren. We're moving up in the world, fourth place. I don't think we've got, got much of a chance of getting towards the top three, but if we can keep this fourth place, that would be a lot better than I thought we were going to be at the start of the season. Although McLaren and Renault are pretty close. Renault messing it up. McLaren falling off the pace recently, which is going to give us a really good shot at finishing in that fourth place. Meanwhile, Van Dorn unhappy with his drive, falls out with us because he was unhappy with his drive, not to do with a car stoffel. Fifth overall, still losing 1.3 million pounds per race. A lot of money going out. And yeah, just a really good race overall there. Um, we're going to have our new rear wing in the car in time for Arden. It's not much time between this race and the next one, so the AI might not have built any new parts for that next race, which is going to work in our favour. Our engine looking really strong here. Second now. Um, I think we've made the final improvements in the performance between the last race and this race. So our Audi engine is now only just behind the Ferrari. Although I'm guessing Renault are going to be working on their engine again pretty soon. And we're going to start falling back again because Renault will make another massive jump forward. Whereas we're not going to make another jump forward maybe until next season with the engine. Maybe. Eeh. Yeah. I don't think we're going to use it. It is a long time to build an engine. 34 days. We could do towards the end of the season, get a nice new engine in the car and then we have that ready for the next season. So we are going to go with a spec 3 engine before next year and then work forward from there I think. But that was a good race overall, 4th, 5th place in the end for Vettel, nearly 4th place, we'll just accept an interview. Hunkenberg had a bit of a disaster in that race, finishing down in 18th, uh, we'll just save that one, then he's open to signing with us because he might be a good option if Ferrari do dump him he would be a good option in this Audi if um, although he's not been having the best of seasons recently I don't know what it is where is he here Hunkenberg stats pretty solid overall has he got a stat that is dropping him down at the moment he doesn't no nothing overall it's just recently after his first win he finished last uh, problem with his car then a 15th 12th and an 18th so since winning in Portugal his next four races he hasn't even finished in the points after two podiums this season yeah just not there for Hunkerberg at the moment but anyway that is where we're going to leave this episode another good race we will be back next time maybe go daily for a little bit it's just whether I have the time but we do have Spa which is our den in this game in Belgium next race but until then I will see you down the road until next time goodbye <laughs>